Drop shipping is the method of selling a product from the vendor to the customer directly without any intermediary storage. That is, if a retailer or a store sells a product through drop shipping, they send it directly from the vendor to the customer. Now here in this case, this vendor acts as a third party, but still they doesn't store this product anywhere. Inside the purchase module also, we have the option to do this drop shipping. For that, you have to go to the configuration settings and enable the drop shipping option. And only after that, you can do this drop shipping method. After that, you have to enable the route which is drop ship inside the desired product and then use it for this process. Let's move forward to the module and see how this works. Okay, so now let's open the purchase module and see how drop shipping works. So here's the purchase. And inside the configuration settings, you have to enable the drop shipping first. So I'm opening the configuration settings. And if you just scroll down here under the logistics, you can see drop shipping. I'm enabling it. It's already enabled, so I'm not doing it any, I mean, I'm not doing anything to it. And make sure you save it. And after that, you have to go to the products and create a new product, or even you can choose an existing product. So I'm going to create a new one called a pen or something. Okay, and I'm starring it for easy access and I'm changing the product type to storable product. Okay, so under the inventory tab of the product, you can see routes. Okay, so inside the routes, buy is already enabled and you can see one more route, which is drop ship. So I'm going to enable that as well. And then under the purchase tab, I'm going to add two or more vendors uh, for this corresponding product. So I'm adding Azure and here I'm adding the quantity five price to 10. Next, I'm adding one more vendor. I'll add Deco with the same quantity, different price. Okay, now this is saved. Now next, what we have to do is go to the sales module. So I'm going to the sales module here and let's create a sale order for that product. So let's choose a customer. I'll choose um, Gemini furniture. Okay, and here you can give the expiration date of the quotation. Here I'm adding the product, which is pen. So here's the product pen. And here specifying the quantity of the product, which is five. Okay, so let it be there. Next, what we have to do is confirm this quotation to a sale order. So I'm confirming it. Okay, so while it's confirmed here, you can see a smart tab has come, which shows purchase one. So I'm opening that purchase. It's because we've enabled the uh, route, which is drop ship and buy. So this is the purchase order, uh, which has been created corresponding to the sale order, uh, like which we created right now. Okay, so here's the product pen. You can see uh, for five quantities, uh, it has been, I mean, the purchase order has gone to Azure interior, which was a vendor, which we set inside the product pen. So it's confirmed. And I'm going to confirm this uh, purchase order. Okay, so clicking on confirm order and once I confirmed it here, you can see a smart tab has come, which is drop ship. So open that and here you can see the product. Okay, so let's validate it. Click on apply and then that drop shipping has gone to the done state. Now let's go back to the purchase. Here you can see create bill. I'm going to create a bill for this purchase order and for that you have to add a bill date so i'm adding a bill date here and also a gst treatment confirming it okay now you can continue the procedure which is like registering the payment and all so clicking on create payment here that payment is done that is that purchase is completed now let's go back to the sale order so here you can see corresponding to this uh, sale order one dropship and also one purchase has been generated Okay, so let's create an invoice for this uh, sale order. Create and view invoice. And then confirming the draft invoice and registering the payment. Okay, so the payment is done. So this is how you simply do the drop shipping method. That was all about the drop shipping inside the purchase module. Hope it was clear. Thank you so much for watching.